welcome ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billify. Today, we're going to be countering a glove. What glove is that? The Kraken Glove, of course! Ladies and gentlemen, so the Kraken glove has just been released and it is a good one. I do love this glove. The ability is so great. After you actually get the glove, being able to control the tentacle, oh, fantastic. So this has 53 power, 17 speed. Let me show you how cool this ability is. So I'm gonna cast it out this way. It has a predetermined length, but it just comes down and it smacks the earth. It leaves that little crack. That is so cool. Here's what the glove looks like. This is a really cool looking glove. I like the colors to it a lot. So now we have the fun question of how do we counter this? Shout out to Biohazard the Proto. Thank you for coming out and testing these counters with me. So the first counter, of course, is going to be Diamond or Mega Rock or Custom. Anyone that you have, it absolutely is a perfect counter because you're in a rock. So there's no way that you're going to be able to be slapped. So if you just go rock form, guess what? You're safe. <laughs> Rocks are 1000% a top counter against this, especially Custom and Mega Rock. Now Swapper, I'm wondering if you can actually make the user who uses the ability swap and get hit i'm very intrigued to see this no okay so no they don't get they don't get slapped themselves but you can't avoid it and it is a good counter just make sure you don't swap to someone who's right next to you and also getting hit with the kraken so the next counter is definitely going to be a ghost of course you know they can't see you coming you're a ghost by the way that new hard art is really cool i like that ghost will work i don't need to show you a clip because it's ghost you know just walk up to them and slap them you're hidden <laughs> so magnet i'm interested because you can definitely escape the path of a tentacle hit by magneting to somebody else if you magnet to the user who casted it though are you in trouble because you're still gonna be at like the base of it oh okay okay i like magnet magnet's a great counter for this actually you get your ability at about the exact same time as the kraken user so you can always magnet and get away from that yeah oh yeah definitely magnet so the next one with another fantastic background look at that that's such a cool card art we have space now space i definitely see working if you have it timed out correctly you can easily escape you just hit your ability and just jump out of the way you're okay yeah and then you drop back down and start bapping them so yeah space is perfect you can definitely use it you can use it in time as soon as you see that little border that runs across the bottom where it highlights where it's gonna hit pop your ability and jump you can definitely escape the one bad part about it though is the zero g does take a little bit longer to get than the kraken ability so keep that in mind so dream can be a perfect counter the one thing you have to do is just don't be predictable if you're predictable someone can time a slap on you don't be predictable and you can easily outrun a slap do it with speed even if you're in the middle and they cast it on you you can easily just run around that. Oh, well, I, I ran back into it. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> All right, so let's calm down a little bit. Let's get back into the normal stuff. Golden's ability, I have full faith in. With Golden's ability, are you safe? Let's see. Absolutely. It's Golden's ability. You're not getting moved by anything. You do your thing, Golden people. <laughs> so the next glove that I think could be very useful against this is Cheeky. I think that the uh, reduced knockback, you're still going to get slapped, but the reduced knockback is going to be key for this. So you're in battle, you're fighting, you're slapping, and you pop a Cheeky. Because guess what? You get slapped, but look, controllable. You're not going very far. Compared to that slap there... You can see there's a massive reduction in knockback that you're going to take using the cheeky versus not using it. So I definitely say use the cheeky glove. It works. Is it the top of the top? No, nah, definitely not. But is it fantastic? Oh, yeah. Replica. I'm interested to see if the tentacle can actually hit a replica user. It can hit the person, of course, but can it actually hit the replica clone? That's what I want to know. The clone is running in and... Oh! <laughs> the clone got... <laughs> that clone got beat up. <laughs> Uh, replica, nowhere near a counter. Do not use replica. So the next glove that we're looking at is defense. Don't use defense. I can tell you right off the bat, don't use defense. I just want to see what it looks like because I already know it's going to look funny. It's going to be the absolute counter to defense users. <laughs> yep. Ah! RIP defense users. <laughs> so reverse. So Biohero already showed me what reverse does. Reverse is a fantastic counter. If you pop it and they use their ability, guess what? Oh, they take the slap. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Reverse is definitely a great counter. A top counter because you get your ability back the same time they get their Kraken back. So you are always ready for their attack if they are targeting you. Alrighty, the next counter that I can think of is the Shikuchi Glove. Even if they are in a slap range, do you get hit? For this Shikuchi test, we're going to see that even if you're in the range... Ooh. You can you can you can definitely escape. Shikuchi is actually a massive counter to this because I do believe you get your ability back at the exact same time as Kraken that or really near. If they run in, no matter where they are, even if there's another Kraken hit that hits you, you're okay. Yeah, because you would have gotten hit by knockback there. Yeah, you're okay until your animation's over. So Shikuchi, 100% a great counter. I love the card art for Ice. That's cool. I'm interested. Do you think Adios works? Do you think it will negate a hit? All right, let's see this. Does Adios... 
I mean, it'll save you if you're close to an edge. It's not a counter, it's a contingency plan. So what I mean by that is like, if you're getting hit off the edge, like if you have this Kraken user and they're targeting you close to the edge and then you pop it as soon as you see them pop their ability, even if you don't make it out of their range, look, you're still gonna save yourself from falling off the edge. So the, con the contingency plan is definitely to use it there. But Adios as a counter, no, not at all. Ah, so we've arrived at blocked. I'm always interested to see what blocked and buddies do because both of them have like the same concept, but they work differently. So it's always it's always interesting to see. Do you think it blocks the ability? My guess? Absolutely not. I think the slap for sure, but the ability? Nah, I don't think so. Moment of truth! Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> that's what I figured. <laughs> blocked is a no-go. Do not use block. You can throw a rock to keep them away from you. You can always coil them to keep them away from you, but they're not viable. I wouldn't use them. Phantom's new card art? Fire, dude. That's awesome. Phantom dash to get out of there, for sure. All you'd have to do as soon as you see the ability cast on the ground in the middle of the battle, just hit your E, phantom dash out of there. There, you'll be okay. Just make sure you don't get hit. The phantom dash is only for movement. So I'll test it again and I'll show you if you don't move and you stay in the same area and just pop your ability, you're gonna get hit. So that's what happens. The wormhole card art. Fire. That looks so cool. Portal reference. You could use track and table flip to throw things at them to keep distance, of course, but I don't really like it as a viable solution. Now shield. I know this for a fact because I tested it against one user that charged me when I first got the glove. Shield's ability does not save you. So the shield on this glove, you would think, does it slap? Does it protect it? Nope. No, it does not. You are gonna go flying. You could always huck a ping pong ball at them to keep them away from you. Whirlwind. Oh, another week where Whirlwind can be a very good counter because no matter what, I think you're gonna ragdoll. So if you're gonna ragdoll, you might as well do it on your terms, right? What are you gonna do? You're gonna cast this out and you're gonna get out of there. You could go right at the user who casted it at you as well. Just go right back at them. And if you hit them, you were gonna get hit anyway. So you might as well do it on the lower tiered hit. We have Acrobat as a uh, counter. For Acrobat, you can easily get out of the way of a Kraken user if they cast it on you. Just look at that Acrobat out of the way. You're a ninja. Go back and forth. Yeah, 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 Acrobat. <laughs> phase, you can absolutely counter this glove with. There's no way that you as a phase are gonna get injured by this at all. Regular slap. There's this light work for phase. Yeah, you are never in any danger. Like always, you could bomb Bubble Jet and Shard to keep them away from you. Bob to keep them away from you. Buddies, this is the one I'm very interested in because sometimes buddies in uh, Blocked work differently. I don't think that this is gonna work at all, but you never know. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Nope, does not work. So if you're getting targeted by a Kraken and for some reason you have the Jupiter Glove but you don't have any other counter, will this give you reduced knockback? I do believe so. All right, so how far are you gonna get hit? Not far. So yeah, the Jupiter Glove, it works, it's a counter. I rarely have Jupiter as like a counter, but I mean, hey, it works here. Any other normal user would have been off the edge on that one. You could also use the hybrids low in this and it will also give you that reduced knockback. Oh, interesting. Can you pop a Slapple tree and avoid the hit? I kind of don't think you're going to be able to. I also don't think if you're in a tree, you're going to be safe as well. We'll test out being in a tree and then we'll test out just going up for a slap. <gasps> wow. Hey, did the tree model get updated? This seems a lot different to me. Let me know. Okay, so while the ability is being casted, can you avoid it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slapple is a massive counter against this. What? It's a rare Slapple W for this. Of course, you could disarm them beforehand, but that's not long-term solution. You could use the dominant speed to get out of there, but there's much better, so I'm not even going to show you. You could absolutely use charge to get out of there. Problem with charge, though, is your ability takes a while to get. Kraken users will have their ability before you by, I think, about half, so just be weary about that, but you can definitely evade a, uh, a hit when you have charge easily. As soon as you see that ability, just get out of there. The tycoon background, sick. I love that, too. I love them all. Oh, all the updates, oh, they're just so good. But if you have an upgraded Tycoon with speed, you're going to be less likely to hit. Is this the best option? No. Is it an option though? Yes. Elude. I don't think this is going to work. I mean, it works the same as a slap. So maybe, but I'm, I'm leaning like 80% not going to work and 20% will work. We'll see. Yeah, I kind of figured. I'm pretty sure Bio said something at the beginning of that too. Yeah, not even a chance. Fish is absolutely a counter. As soon as you get hit, just fling yourself back. You don't need to see footage of that. You know how to use fish. Just flop yourself back. <laughs> Voodoo absolutely works. If you create a mannequin of somebody, that tentacle will come down and hit that person. Okay, it does work. All right. We now know you can absolutely use Kinetic's ability to take no knockback. If you get hit, pop your ability and you have no knockback. I don't need to show you a clip of that. It works, but be warned, a Kraken user will get their ability back before you. So not a long-term suggestion with Kinetic short term. Recall, absolutely. If you get hit off the edge, you can definitely recall and take back the hit. That is absolutely a counter. Psycho, if you're using your ability, can you dodge a Kraken? Right, let's see. 
Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, Psycho is a massive counter. So let's see if we... Can they use their ability? They cannot use the ability while flying in midair. They have to be grounded in order to use the ability. Psycho's a perfect counter because if you have them up in the air, they cannot use their ability. But if they also use their ability at you, Oh, I used it very late, but you can see, you can save yourself from getting slapped. That's really good. Psycho, massive counter. And of course, you can always fight a Kraken with a Kraken. Shout out to these awesome people right here. Shout out to all of them. Hey, Batman's boogers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Biohazard or Blueberry. Really appreciate you coming out and helping me to show you all the counters for this glove. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Later. <laughs> Use.